Hey guys, it's Prodigy Embershed, and today I'm going to be telling you how to catch an ashlet in Prodigy. There are two main ways on how to catch an ashlet in Prodigy. Also, you may have noticed I got the Draconox gear from Summerfest. But enough of that, and let's get to the video. The first thing you need to do to catch an ashlet is to click this thing, the map. When you click it, you want to go to this volcano place. And if you click it, it'll say Bonfire Spire. It doesn't need to say Quest Completed. I just completed Bonfire Spire. But anyways, you want to click Play. There are two main ways on how to catch the ashlet. The first way is if you go right here. Most people don't know this. I actually found this out by trying to find Pippin because I thought it could be here in Bonfire Spire, but it wasn't. But anyways, as you see, two Ashlet spawned. But if you guys want to be hardcore in Prodigy, there's a much easier... There's a much harder way on how to catch this Ashlet pet. The hardcore way is if you go down here. Most of you know this way, but I'm just reviewing it. And then you guys want to go here. You usually have to battle a pet, but I already battled it for once trying to do this. And apparently it didn't go to monster form. Usually you have to battle it. See? Now a puck spawn, but I'm not going to battle it because I'm already here. So you guys want to go down and there's going to be an ashlet. As you see, I also battled this one. I just wanted to make sure this way was safe enough. And the ashlet just came back with two ashlets. So... I'm not going to catch an ashlet because I already once caught it. But I'm going to use Falling Star Smash. And I'm just going to answer this question, so I'm going to pause and I'll tell you when I finish it. So as you see, I just answered that question right, and I did damage to the ashlet, but the ashlet missed. Dun, dun, dun. But now, I'm just going to use Falling Star Smash, and I'll be back right after answering this question, too. So, as you see, I just answered that question and killed one of the Ashlets. And, as you see, it was a critical hit. And the Ashlet used Volcano. So, if you watched my first video, you would see you could rescue it if the hearts were... More than less than half of its heart, but that, but it's full health, so I can't rescue it now. Though it would be cool if you could rescue it in full health. But, anyways, let's use Falling Star Smash. And I'll be right back after I answer this question. So now I just answered that question correctly, and as you see, I almost killed that Ashlet. But you could have rescued it by clicking the rescue button. I'm not going to really tell you anymore. If you want to know more, watch my first video. Go to my channel and click it and click oldest video and just click the first one that appears in the oldest videos. But, and you'll figure out how to rescue it. But anyways, I'm going to use Falling Star Smash right now against this Ashlet. And I'll be right back when I answer this question. So now I just answered that question and I destroyed this Ashlet. So now I want to see the U on screen. And I gained 21 battle stars. And because members get more stars, I also gained 10 member stars. I gained 21 regular stars because there were two monsters in the battle. So now let's open the chest and I got 200 gold coins, 20 hot hops, and 2 sand dollars. And that's basically it for the rest of the video. Remember, to, if you enjoyed this video and you thought this was a helpful tutorial, remember to leave a like in this video and subscribe to my channel, Prodigy Ambershed. Ouch!